Bring, bring him back! After delivering the findings of his independent report Thursday afternoon, former Austin Police Detective Jesse Prado left the meeting before hearing from the community. Do the right thing! He returned after the audience demanded it. After they listened to his report clearing all the officers involved in the 2022 Robb Elementary School massacre of any wrongdoing. He says he didn't find any policy violations and says all officers acted in good faith. This child was shot and he sat in there for 77 minutes while those cowards did nothing. The report took nearly two years to complete and only concerns the Uvalde Police Department. The failures Prado identified have been widely discussed already in a scathing Department of Justice report. From poor communication, no leadership or command center communicating orders, to faults in training and a lack of equipment. There were problems all, all day long with communication, lack of it, but the officers had no way of knowing what was being planned or what was being said. Prado says the biggest challenge was the eight feet officers would have had to clear without a bulletproof shield, despite the shooter having a clear shot from his angle. The shooter ended up being left unchallenged for 77 minutes. They could not shoot into that room blindly. It, that would have been a serious violation. A violation of policy. And possibly even law, sir. But for the families like Kimberly Mata Rubio, who lost her daughter Lexi, his findings were unacceptable. You said that it was best, that there was no way to go in. It was for their safety. It was not for the safety of children. How dare you? Council members Hector Levuano and Ernest Chip King also went on record denouncing the report's findings. I'm just, I'm, I'm very, very upset at how this went down today. I apologize to every single one of you. Families say policy aside, they want the officers in that hallway who are still employed to be fired. They chose their lives over the lives of children and teachers, and there is no policy change will eliminate their fear and their hesitation to do what is right in the positions they serve. Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.